Once upon a time, there was a bear and his name was Teddy. He was on his way to school when a car drove past him. To his amazement, smoke was coming out of the car's exhaust pipe. What is that? Out of curiosity, Teddy decided to ask his teacher about it. Perfect timing. Today's lesson is about methane and unburnt hydrocarbon. They are actually components in the smoke you had seen. Firstly, methane is a colorless and odorless gas that is widely found in nature. The main sources of methane emissions are wetlands, livestock farming as well as the production, transportation and use of fossil fuels. How about unburnt hydrocarbon? One of the classmates asked. Unburnt hydrocarbons are organic compounds consisting entirely of hydrogen and carbon emitted after petroleum is burned in an engine. Hydrocarbons are part of fuels such as petrol, diesel, and gaseous fuels such as paraffin gas. I see! A man is actually carrying a burnt hydrocarbon to the environment! Teddy asked eagerly. Yes, there are negative effects. Both methanes and unburnt hydrocarbons' greatest effect to the environment is that they cause global warming. Teachers said, Global warming is an increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere, leading to climate changes. As methane is one of the primary greenhouse gases, it will affect the air in the environment when it is released. For unburnt hydrocarbon, they react with nitrogen oxide, oxygen and water vapor if they come into contact with sunlight in the atmosphere. These result in methane and unburnt hydrocarbon creating ozone, a greenhouse gas that causes global warming. Teacher replied, Oh! So, those gases are harmful to the environment, and we should reduce the emissions to help save the Earth. We can do so by starting with our daily life by reducing the usage of cars and using public transportation instead. Said Teddy enthusiastically. That's right! Now that you know how these harmful gases damage our environment, it is up to you to spread the word. Let's help to save the world together. The teacher replied. The bell signaled the end of the lesson. That's all for today. Thank you, class. Teacher ended the lesson. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. The class greeted 